Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see different types of fields available in the Odoo 17. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to auto install modules, this is a very interesting topic, guys. If you missed, check the link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, please visit the Weblands channel under the Home screen, you can see Odoo 17 development tutorial is here, and this is the main playlist. And in case you want to learn more about Odoo with the different topics, you can see Odoo development, and here you can see different topic wise playlists available with the different with the real test cases. So, let's back to our main topic. And before that, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe, it will help me a lot. So, let's back to our main topic what is the different types of fields available in the Odoo. So the first question is what is field, right? So the term field refer to the attribute or properties of the map class that correspond to columns in the database table. If you if you know more about the SQL, right? So while we create a tables, so we have to also create a columns and that column having a specific type the character integer float the blob right the boolean similar in the programming side languages we also have a data types right so in this case you can consider as a data type so here in odoo we can divide three layers of the data types the simple fields uh, relational fields and the functional or the reference fields so let's check one by one. So there is the first one is the integer field. It stores as a numeric value in the database. And you can see here, this is the values like this. You can add the integer value like this way. Okay. Another thing is the float field, which is also similar as a integer field, but only difference is the decimal field you can see here, 0 0.06. So similar like this, it will store in the database right after that the boolean field which is true or false so tick is the true and untick it's a false after that the character field which is where care field it stores in the database right and this care field have uh, some limitations of the size if you have like big size then you can just use the text field so text field is the actually contain a more data to the compared to the character field and there is a one advanced text field is there which is called the html field you can see here the color combination the bold italic many things you can add here actually in the in this html field which is also stored in the database you can see the the similar as a text field but only the text is different you can also add the html tag and you can see the output another field is let's say uh, you want to create a, some combo box related feature right so using the selection field you can use here and in the database side only the specific chosen option it will store let's say you want to store the date field right date related information then you can use the date field top of that if you want to add also the time you can just use date and time field like this way right and uh, this is very specific field which is widely used while you are trying to represent decimal plus the currency so this is the monetary field right how it is work uh, in our upcoming session you will get idea let's say you want to store the binary fields like different types of let's say the files you can use the binary field if you want to store the images in the database then you can use also image here you can see what is the difference between binary and image field in image field you can only store the images but in the binary field you can add any types of file format another and very interesting field is the json field so json field is introduced in the version 16 and in the 17 version is also here you can add json related data in the database Plus, the Postgres also supports the JSON field, JSON type. So, this is also a benefit here. And now, let's talk about the relational fields. So, first field is the many to one field. Let's say in your current model, you want to store also the foreign key table, right? 
let's say in the student model you want to also add school details right the school id then you can use the many to one field one to many field is like that let's say one school having a more than one students right so here in this example you can consider you can use here one to many field many to many field is like uh, you can choose multiple options from the different models so in this case you can just choose the many to many field here the relational fields are done so our upcoming session is the compute and the reference fields so compute field is you have some logic and on that logic the final result is there it will comes to the picture so that is we called as a compute field which by default it's not storable in the database but let's say you want to store it is also have an option to store the this field into the database right the related field so related field is something like that let's say in the student profile you want to display also the school address from the school model you have to just map to the school models address field so it's basically a read only field in the sub child model you can consider as don't worry like i will show you in our upcoming session the reference field is similar like the many to one field but here the main advantage is you can choose not only the specific model but different models you can choose here in this field in the database side it will store as a string but it's having a two different part one is the model and another is that model id i uh, don't worry about this specific reference field in our upcoming session you will get the idea how to use it and uh, that's it guys here you can see in this list in the python side and in the xml side you have to also use some useful attributes to define a specific field right so here you can use as a string as a labeling purpose required invisible read only default value translate stats widget tracking groups size index health some attributes specifically we are using in the python side and some specifically we are using in the xml side i just mixed attributes here but in our upcoming session i will show you all the attributes how you can use one by one in the each fields all right so if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session is how you can create a character field in the odoo so see you there